Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in the last video, we created a Reddit scraper that will go through the subreddits. We tell it and look for keywords and let us know whenever that happens. Now in this video, we're actually going to build a part where it lets us know because last time it was just kind of pulling the posts and gave you a list of posts. So now we're actually going to send them. And since I'm an engineer that is usually on call and usually gets the on-call messages on Teams. I always have Teams open. So we're gonna create a Teams webhook that will send the alerts of a new Reddit post being open so we can go and check it out. So in here I created a Teams team and then I created a channel just with me and then I clicked connectors and in here I created the incoming webhook and I'm not gonna go through it in there just because uh, it's just a URL um, and I don't want you guys to see my URL. So basically how it works is you click configure, it will give you a URL where you're gonna do a post and then you just have to post whatever you want in kind of like, here's like the Teams thing. So you can send like pictures, you can send kind of actions that are kind of like cards that are gonna get it down here. So for more information, I'm gonna link this down below. Uh, but yeah, basically you just kind of create your JSON for this and then you send it. In this case, I already went ahead and did kind of like the hard work and created a JSON that will have kind of like the title, the information, and then kind of like subreddit and everything, and then an action that actually lets you see it in Reddit in case you actually wanna see it. So other than that, I didn't change much to our code. I changed everything to get it from Key Vault instead of actually having the secrets and code, that's how it should be done. And I'm gonna link also the Key Vault video down below and I left the option also in case you wanna hard code stuff. And so then in here we go, we get our uh, posts from the last hour filtered by our keywords based on the subreddits we selected and all this is managed in our settings.json. So we have the subreddits and then which uh, keywords to look for. In this case, I'm just doing Wall Street bets because it's the one that everybody looks at and then GME and Meta. So then after that, we go and we go into our Teams Manager, we create a Teams Manager, and all we're doing is uh, doing a send that is going through, getting the posts to send that are new posts that are not in our send posts from our settings. I'm doing this all in the settings file just because I didn't wanna kind of connect to a database and everything. But obviously if you're running this in production, you would wanna to connect to like a database and have everything in the database instead of all in a JSON file locally. And then we do a for each of the posts and then we send it. And if it was successfully sent, we add it and the sending is not doing anything other than calling the post in the URL and serializing it in the Teams card model that basically the constructor for the Teams card model is the digested Reddit post and I just kind of like break it into however I want it. So I wanted the facts to be the subreddit and the post date. So that's basically it. Now I'm just gonna run it just so you see how it works. And basically in here, I'm just seeing how it sends and we have our post with all the information and then we serialize it and however like Teams likes it and then we post it and once it's posted, we can go to Teams and you can see that it just posted this one. And if we keep going, I'm just actually gonna do it here in the for each so you can see. So here we have two posts. So we already sent the first one. Now we're gonna send the second one that basically says meta headed to 50 and the down thing. So if we just do continue, 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 and we go back to Teams, we're gonna see meta headed down and meta game point. And if we click view on Reddit, it's gonna open it on Reddit where we can see the full information. So that's how you can send posts from Reddit to Teams and then viewing them in Teams. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.